face cam? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up guys? Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to fantastic video. And today guys, I'm gonna show you some, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys how to get uh, Trains 2009 for free as their giveaway um, for TS 2019. So, I'm going to show you how to get this uh, game. Uh, I was like, yeah, I should just make a video. So, um, today we're going to um, show you guys how to get this uh, game and how I did it. And I'm going to show you guys how to get content. And keep in mind, guys, that all the content and stuff, all the sites that I download from, will be in the description down below. So you guys can go and check them out. So yeah, um, let's let's click yes. I want TS 2009 for free. Want to click that, and then um, you're gonna want to enter um, all this information. Now you're, if you want, uh, you can you can okay. Just kidding. Um, you can just pick your username, your password, firm password, email address, uh, first and last name. You don't really have to put your real first and last name. From my knowledge, um, just make it seem legit. <laughs> um, then you want to click on trains, newsletter, and stuff. And I have read the uh, and agreed to the rules. After you have done that, you want to confirm your account, and I think they should send you an email to confirm your account. So after you do all of that, you should want, um, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. I, I just realized that I'm already logged in. Okay, so once you uh, do that, you wanna go over to My Trains, and you want to go, and there should be something um, in your, I think it's a newsletter. Uh, yeah, right here. It says T Trains 2000 Train Simulator 2009 Giveaway. Now I already, I obviously already know, or not know. I have it already downloaded. Is what I meant to say. So it's gonna say, give me this message. But it's gonna give you something, a message like claim, like claim your free TS 2009, and uh, it should give you like a serial code or something that you're gonna enter into the game once you download it. Um, so that's going to be important as well, so, um, I think it would be, uh, right here, claim free, uh, DLC, um, I, I think it would pop up here, um, or something like that, or it may give you the, uh, the code when you, uh, download it, but after you, like, download it and set it up and everything, you're going to want to take your, um, code and stuff that you got, um, and go ahead and enter it into the game itself and the options, which um, I'll show you guys how to do that in a minute. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's just, oh, serial number. This is where you enter your serial number. I'm sorry. Okay, so this is where you're gonna enter your serial number into the train's website. So that way you can get access to some of their content they have on the download station and all that good stuff. So, <clears throat> yeah, um, obviously I got my serial number. It's probably gonna be blurred because I don't know if it's supposed to be sensitive or not, but I'm gonna blur it anyway. Um, so yeah, that you just uh, and you can just copy and paste your uh, serial number into here and um, you're good to go. So now I'm going to show you guys how to set it up for. Okay guys, so once you have your trains game installed, um, it may take a while for it to open, just just so you guys are prepared. Um, it does take a while for me at least. Um, so what you're gonna do is head over to options. And this is where you're gonna enter your CD key or your serial number that you uh, got from your website. Uh, the website, I should say. Um, you're gonna want to paste it in here and click add, and then um, so you can mess around with this stuff like um, this. Uh, you can change the DirectX or OpenGL display resolutions. So you can uncheck full screen. Now for me, this was checked, 
and which caused a little bit of a problem. Um, so you might want to uncheck mark that and just like set this to like the highest um, it'll go. That works best. Um, you can do this. I don't know. I've never tested these before, so yeah. You, after, you can also then just click OK, and that's it. You then you can click uh, Start, and then it'll uh, take you to the main menu. You can do Surveyor, all that stuff. Create routes. Now I'm going to show you guys how to get content from any version of trains. Any. Now, this may not work for everything, I don't know, um, but it does work for a lot of stuff. So, like, stuff that's made for um, uh, trains, uh, a new era, stuff that's made for possibly TS 2019, trains 12, TS Ro uh, model railroad simulator um, 2017. I'm going to show you guys how to get um, those models and not make them faulty because usually they'll, when you download stuff, um, it'll probably come up with you uh, with it saying, oh, I'm faulty, please fix me. <laughs> so um, yeah, so right now I'm on JR's website. I'm sure a lot of you guys know this website, jointedrail.com. They are the best. Um, but yeah, uh, so you guys, so they got all of this content. They got payware, freeware, uh, they got routes, which I personally would suggest downloading routes if you want to get really more assets. But um, before you do that, I got to show you something. So. Uh, if you go into content, which we're gonna, well, we wait for content manager to load. So basically, I don't know if I'll be able to show you guys in the good, good amount of time, but wait, when you guys download content, you're gonna want to find the asset you downloaded. So, um, so like, okay, so let's go back to screen here. Um, so like content manager right here. We have uh, stuff. I, I got stuff in there. Um, it's like when um, when you when you're on the content uh, manager, uh, you find something you want to get. You know, you're probably like, how do I download it? <laughs> so um, all you have to do is like drag the item, like get, click it, drag it over to the um, where it says idle right here, like this uh, the box right here. Then you click start. If it has a red, if it's highlighted in red, you cannot download it for, because uh, like, I don't know, for a different version of trains. But uh, what you want to do is when you download a asset for like Tane or um, TS2009 or 2019, uh, you're going to want to uh, edit it because it's going to say faulty. And that's because it's usually going to be the build number. Yep, you heard me right. It's the build number. So all you really have to do is change. So um, when you change the build number, then it be then becomes usable. So you're probably like UPRF. How can I, in a sense, change? the uh, build number. Well, it's very, very simple. Let me explain. So when you get your asset and it's not, com when the build number's not compatible, uh, maybe it's like a 3.9 or something, all you have to do is in the content manager is click on the item and then on your keyboard, click Control Shift and C. All right, no, Control Shift E, I'm sorry. E. So, uh, after you hit Control Shift E, then um, it'll bring you up in the files. So it'll it'll bring the asset up in your files folder. So, oh wait, maybe actually some things will uh, show up for us here. So maybe I can actually show you what I'm talking about. All right. So on the screen right now we have um, all these assets, Alco and stuff. Um, I don't have any faulty. I have a lot of faulty ones, but. 
to be honest, that's going to take a long time. So let's go with and restaurant sign. Uh, control shift E, and you want to give it about a, about a second or two, uh, depending on how fast your computer is. Mine is a potato. <laughs> um, yes, it's my mine is potato. It takes a little bit. Okay, so as you can see here, um, we have the asset loaded up right here. Um, so then what you want to do is find a TXT file. So what you want to find is a TXT file called config. Config.txt. Double click it. And then it should bring you up into your notepad. Um, like this. So it should bring you up into this notepad. Um, and then what you want to find is the train's build number. This one's a 1 1.5. It's pretty old, actually. I'm in the t since we're in trains 2009. You're gonna want so like if it's like a 3.4 or something. If this is like 3.4, change it to 2.9, and then save the file by hitting Control S. Then you want to close out of both file and Notepad. And uh, when you have the object selected, hit Control M, like like the letter M on your keyboard. Um, and then that'll commit the save for the asset. And there you go, you'll have a usable asset to download. Or not download, but you'll have a usable asset to use in the game um, for Train 2009. So yeah, that's pretty much how you can download just about any asset. It works on all locomotives from my experience. So like, um, like I got some SRS uh, trains recently. Uh, so like, uh, let's go with the C44-9W or something like that. Um, so yeah, it, we, uh, so yeah, I got all these. Now, some of these were faulty, like this one right here. This was faulty, now it's not. Uh, that's from me changing the build number um, of the um, asset. And so now I got all these that I can use. And um, I might go over another video where I do the um, the uh, the content creator plus. So like um, I go over like how you can change stuff in the um, in the model and stuff. So you guys can um, like kind of mess around with the um, uh, asset itself. Okay, so now with that, um, now that you guys have learned how to get the game and get content, the CDP files. Um, now these are gonna be stuff you download off the websites and stuff. Now this is pretty simple. All you gotta do is when you download an asset, go into your files, and then you go to the uh, content manager where we just were. And then you're gonna want to take your CDP file and then um, just drag it over and just somewhere on the content manager's uh, screen. And then it'll automatically pop up with a box um, saying it's installing assets. And you can click view details to see what kind of uh, QIDs it's downloading um, and stuff like that. And then after that, um, you don't really, it, it doesn't really tell you like the percentage, like how, the progress, but um, you just have to kind of wait, have patience. That's something I kind of have trouble with. <laughs> um, but yeah, so after it downloads, you just simply click close after it says uh, it's task complete. And yeah, you have yourself a new asset. So like I said in the beginning of the video, um, all the sites that I download content from will be in the description down below. Oh man, but you guys, other than that, <clears throat> that's about gonna wrap it up for this video. Um, if you guys really did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe. Be sure to subscribe as well because I heard that over 94% of you guys that are watching this video right now are not even subscribed. What in the world? That, that, that blows my mind. Guys, be sure to click that red subscribe button. It's red. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I 
it's red, just like the Union Pacific Shield's red stripes. So yeah, what you want to do is make it gray. And join the 4.3% of you guys that are already subscribed. So yeah, guys, um, that's gonna make that's gonna wrap it up for the video. And yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. And uh, yeah, so you guys, I will see y'all in the next video. Peace. Oh.